everyone, so this video is going to be how to perform your very own gel manicure at home. Um, I have had loads and loads and loads of requests to do this video and I'm finally getting around to it. So in this video I'm just going to show you what equipment you will need to perform the manicure yourself at home and the steps you go through to actually do the manicure itself. So as you can see I have a lot of equipment in front of me so I'm going to go through each thing and just tell you what it is and what you need it for. So the first and foremost thing that you actually need for gel nails is a UV lamp. You can have an LED lamp or a UV lamp whichever you prefer. Um, mine's actually a LED lamp this just kind of lifts up here. This is going to cure the gel when you have got it on your nails. This is an absolute necessity for gel nails so you must 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 have a lamp. Next product that I have here is nail antiseptic solution this one is by OPI and this is the NES 99 and um, another alternative is just isopropyl alcohol and then you can see I do have a buffing block down here you will need this to file the surface shine off the top of your nails and I also have a cuticle pusher which is self-explanatory you push your cuticles back with that and then I also have a nail file in case I want to kind of reshape my nails or anything like that then you will also need some um, like nail pads these are lint free nail pads and basically what you are going to do with these is spray your antiseptic spray on and wipe over your nails the great thing about these lint free pads is you don't get any cotton wool or any fuzzy bits or anything stuck to your actual nails which is what we need and my gel Gels of choice for this video are by Madame Glam. Um, I do have a few gels from these this company um, now and I absolutely love it. It is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite brands. I absolutely adore the brand. So that is the, the brand that I will be using today. So obviously there I have the base coat, the colour that I'm using and the top coat. And then the last thing I have here is just a cuticle oil for when the gel's applied and everything's done and then you just want to apply apply a little bit of cuticle oil to nourish your nails. So we are going to take this hand which looks like this right now so you can see the nails and things and we are going to transform it into this hand which is gorgeous shiny glossy beautifully filed beautifully bluffed gel nails and can you just see the shine and the shimmer on that absolutely amazing these gel nails last for literally up to three weeks mine literally grow out I never have any problems with chipping or anything like I say I have used Madame Glam brands before and I absolutely love it I am a huge huge fan so this is what we're going to do we're going to take this hand to this hand and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it so if you want to know and you want to learn please continue to watch so first off I'm just going to lift my tripod down and I'm just going to get a little bit closer into the frame because I want to show you exactly what I am doing so you can now see my hand down here so first thing we're going to do we are going to take our white buffing block and we are literally just going to file straight over the top of our nails and we're not filing hard or anything we are literally just taking the surface shine off so that is what we've done also I did say we have a cuticle pusher here prior to this video I did push my cuticles back but just for the purpose of this video what you want to do is just obviously soak your hands first so they're nice and soft don't ever push your cuticles back when they're all hard just give your hands a nice soak and then what you want to do is just push your cuticles back so you're just going to get any kind of dead cuticle away from there um, and again the nail files there but I have already filed my nails prior to this video just to save time so the main part is just file over with the white block you're just taking any surface oil off your nails there so you can see I've given them a good file there. Don't know how well you can see it. So then what we're going to do, we're going to take one of our nail wipes and we are going to take our antiseptic spray. We're just going to give it a little spray onto there. And then we are literally going to wipe over each of our nails. And that is just going to completely dehydrate the nail plate and get rid of any surface oil that could possibly be left on there. It's important to go underneath the nails as well, guys. Just make sure you do that. So that is what it looks like. They are totally dehydrated. So I'm going to dive straight into the gels. Obviously, for the purpose of this video, I don't want it to be too long and I don't want my battery to die in the process. So we always start off with a soak off base gel. And again, this is by the brand Madame Glam, one of my absolute favourites. I can't fault it. The products are absolutely amazing. So 
with the gel you are just literally going to apply it just like a regular nail polish and you are just going to paint it on your nails let me just pop that out of the way for the purpose of the video so you're just going to paint it onto your nails and the trick with gel what you really want to do is just apply thin layers you do not want to get your gel all gloopy and thick or anything like that the trick is to keep it really really thin so it looks really really natural by the time you've built up your other colors so you can see me just applying the gel there, the clear base gel. And I do kind of, I'm just wiping any excess off onto the bottle like this. Sometimes it can run down and like I say, you don't want your gel to be thick or runny or anything like that. You just want to apply a nice thin layer. And make sure you get right down the side walls as well. You just want to cover your whole nail with a good coat of the base coat. And remember, you can so gel is really, really workable, so you can go over the nail as many times as you want. You can just give it another brush over because until it's cured under the lamp, it's absolutely fine. Now you can see on this little nail here, I don't know how well you can see it actually, but it has kind of gone down my sidewall. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my nail and I'm just literally going to drag that down and I'm just wiping off that excess you could also do this with um, an orange wood stick or anything but if you do notice any of it into your side walls or anything just like I said just take your nail and just run it down the side wall so I have my base coat all applied onto my natural nails there so now I am going to just pop it into the lamp and I'll just lift this up so you can see I have literally just popped it into the lamp there and it's just going to take 30 seconds to cure so you can see the blue lamp on and it's just working its way it's just setting that gel on there and the light will go off when the 30 seconds is up so I just always just keep an eye on the light and like I say once it goes off that means it's cured and I'm ready to go on to the actual colour gel so probably just a couple more seconds and we can take that out I'm just going to pop my tripod back down Sorry about this guys, I definitely need to invest in a different tripod. Um, but yeah, the light has gone off now, so my clear is um, cured. So I'm just going to screw the top of that one back on. And I am using, again, the Madam Glam, and this is a bright, bright pink colour. This is in shade 254. I will leave the, the name of the colour down below for you guys. So again, what we want to do is just apply coats of the gel and again we are not applying it thick we just want really really thin layers you want to try and get as close to the cuticle as possible but don't flood it so again just give it a nice few strokes just moving on to the next i love gel it's so pliable it's so movable and again it's not set until it goes under the lamp so if you do do a mistake you can just wipe it off and start again just remember to get down the side walls as close to the cuticle as possible. You want these nails to look really, really natural, remember guys. So like I say, don't be flooding your nails with product or anything like that. So again, you're just basically applying it like a regular nail polish. I know it's gel, but it literally just applies like a regular nail polish. And I just love this colour from Madame Glam. It's absolutely gorgeous. And within two coats, it's fully opaque as well, which I love. It's not showing up as bright on camera as what it is in real life, but it is just amazing. So I'm just going to do this one again. Again, just make sure you get down to the side walls. Try not to touch the skin. If you do, guys, don't worry too much because, like I said before, you can just take your finger and you can just wipe down the side walls or get a little bit um, cotton wool soaked in acetone onto an orange wood stick and you can wipe it off that way. I'm just going to see if I can zoom in a little bit more on this one for you. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Again, just make sure you get right down to the side walls. And just give the whole nail a really, really nice, thin, even coat. Gorgeous. So you can see that is the first layer on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this into the lamp again. I'll just leave my camera where it is for the moment rather than keep moving it it's only under the lamp at the moment it'll be under there for 30 seconds 
So this was the first coat that we done. We'll let this cure for 30 seconds underneath the lamp. And once it's out, we are going to then apply a second coat of the colour. I always like to apply two coats of the colour because it gives a full opacity and it just gives a full solid colour, which is what I really, really like in gel nails. So you can see I do have two coats on this hand and it just looks absolutely amazing. So once this comes out, which is right now, it has just cured. So I'm going to do the same process. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to do the same process and just apply a second coat of the gel. So again, you just want really, really thin coats, just a thin covering over the nail there. Really, really thin. You don't want anything thick or gloopy. Just keep the coats really, really nice, thin and even. And again, just get as close to the cuticle and sidewalls as possible. <clears throat> and remember guys, it doesn't matter if you touch the skin because you can just wipe it away before you cure it. Really nice thin coats. Amazing. I'm just going to have a little dip again, but I'm not going to overload the brush. Gorgeous, just look at that colour. And then again, I'm just going to give a second coat to the thumb there. And you guys can probably see I have just touched the skin with a little bit of pink there. But like I say, it's no problem. Just wipe over it and it has gone. So that is the second coat over the nails. After the second coat, I'm going to show you guys a little tip. What you want to do is you just want to take your brush, scrape off all the excess. So you're going to dip your brush in and you're just going to scrape off the excess on the sides. And then what you are going to do, you are just going to paint the very, very tips of your nails and this is just going to seal all of the gel in and it's going to stop any of it from chipping away or anything so you're just kind of sealing the nail in completely and some of it probably would have gone under the underside of the nail again just give it a quick wipe under and you are actually fine and then we're going to pop that in to cure again <coughs> excuse me guys i'm getting a sore throat so that is curing for 30 seconds and that is us done with the base colour, um, like with your actual colour I mean. I only apply two coats because like I say these gels are fantastic and they are fully opaque within two coats. So we are done with the colour <coughs> and then when our hand comes out of the lamp we are then going to go on with our top gel and this is what makes the nails super duper shiny. <coughs> so that is the lamp done. So the colour is fully cured and then we are just going to take our top gel, which is just basically a clear top coat, again really really thin coats, and just paint over the nails. <clears throat> just have another little dip again, don't flood, but make sure that they are fully sealed. And you can see my hand is totally shaking there. <laughs> But that is it, it is super duper easy. So they are all top coated and I'm gonna pop that back into the lamp. <coughs> and then that is cured for 30 seconds. You only need one layer of the top coat, so that's done. Once this comes out of the lamp, I will then show you what we're going to do. And after this step, you are pretty much, in fact, you are done. Um, so once it comes out of the lamp, we're gonna wipe over with the antiseptic spray and that's gonna take the sticky residue off that the gel leaves. 
and your nails are instantly dry, instantly shiny and instantly amazing. So the lamp has just gone off. So the nails have come out, but they are still sticky because you've just popped the gel on. Although it's cured, it is still sticky. So what you're going to do, you're going to take one of your nail wipes again and your antiseptic spray. Just again, 